Hi, Tim Roy for Warriors.com. We're talking to Jordan Taylor, the 6'2 guard from Wisconsin this year, and you've been on the uh, workout trail, so to speak. How many places have you been to so far? Uh, Golden State is my first first place, so yeah, just starting it off right here, and I uh, got a few other ones coming up here in the next couple weeks. So how'd the workout go? Uh, it went well. It was, it was fun, you know, just a different environment, different atmosphere, but you know, it's always basketball, and it's fun to get out and play, especially with different guys. What's the difference from getting ready for a workout as opposed to getting ready for a game? Um, I guess it's it's kind of different. It's more of a more of an individual, uh, you know, outlook on it. Just because you know, you know, it affects your your stock or your status, whatever it is for the NBA draft. As opposed to a game, it's obviously more of a team thing. You're definitely going out there trying to win. But you know, everybody out here knows each other, so it turns into a team thing a little bit out here too. If someone's watching this, why do you think you're going to be in the NBA? Um, you know, I think that I can bring uh, different things to the table. I might not be the most athletic. I, you know, I can't jump the highest or run the fastest, but I don't run the slowest or, or jump the lowest, you know. So I think I can bring uh, leadership to a team and, you know, just kind of a, a steady, solid guy who can, uh, who can run, a, run a unit. Let's talk about the leadership part. Last year, the Badgers had lost a couple of guys, one to, to the NBA, one overseas. Uh, you guys had some pitfalls during the season, but yet you're a shot away from being Syracuse. You're shot in, in the game in, in Boston. Jumper with two seconds to go. No, in the air, no again. What leadership things did you bring to Wisconsin last year? Uh, you know, we had a lot of guys who had been there for a while but didn't have, but didn't have much playing experience. So it was just a, just a matter of trying to get on the same page, um, you know, whether it was talking in, in drills before the season and, you know, agility drills or in basketball drills, just trying to get guys up to speed and, and get everybody on the same page so they just flowed well together. What was that experience like for you? Um, you know, it was different, but it was especially coming up as a freshman. It, it seemed to go so fast. It seemed like just yesterday I was the one who had to get up to speed, and uh, you know, it was fun though, just trying to trying to learn how guys played, the you know ways different guys cut and this and that, and the ins and outs of each other. It was it was a fun experience. Wisconsin is known as obviously it's a big you know ten school to start, so you think you th people think football, but there's some good basketball pedigree there. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, we like we like to think we got a uh, better basketball from top to bottom than, than football does from top to bottom. But you know, it's definitely good football schools. But you know, uh, you know, there's going to be a couple guys in the draft from the Big Ten this year, and, and probably even more for for years to come. So it's, it was a definite, uh, definitely a blessing to play in the Big Ten, and uh, I'm going to miss it. And how's that chant go when you say Wisconsin? Uh... Uh, the, the football one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if I can repeat that. <laughs> I don't know okay. if I can repeat right, that. So. <laughs> what what's uh, What's your biggest attribute you think as a basketball player? Um, you know, I think just the ability to uh, kind of to be solid. Uh, you know, I think I'm a good passer as well. I think I, I'm really good at finding the open man or making the extra pass and just being unselfish. Um, you know, I feel like I'm a, a pretty good team player, things like that. I don't know how much you were able to watch the NBA this last year, but the Warriors have a, a guard that is a similar size of you, Charles Jenkins out of Hofstra. And you know he was in kind of a similar situation to you last year. A lot of people were looking at him as a, a top, uh, say you know lottery type type player. But he's he's proven he could play in the league. When you look at guys like that, well, what goes through your mind? Um, you know, I feel like there's there's quite a few guys like that, and I did get a chance to watch Charles play a little bit, and you know he, he can play. And I don't think uh, a lot of the times it's not important about where you go. Uh, it's just you know you're going to get your opportunities to prove you can play in the league, and you, know, you just got to try and take advantage of every opportunity you get. Why are you a better shooter now than you were at the beginning of your college career? Ah, uh, repetition. You know that's that's all you can really do. Whether you're whether you're Michael Jordan or the worst basketball player in the world, you know you got to or you just have, you have to work. That's the only way you can get better at something. Uh, you know, some guys have more God-given ability. The only way to improve is to work. Now, you grew up in uh, Bloomington, Minnesota. Why aren't you on skates? <laughs> it wasn't for me. I don't. I don't know. It just, just wasn't for me. Okay. Because we started used to, on skates. We used to have a player here, Jason Richardson, who played hockey until he was about I, 13 before I, he switched over to basketball. Yeah, I started on skates till I was about seven, and then uh, the 6 a.m. practices got to me, so I, I think I gave it up. Yeah, it's easier to get basketball floor time than ice time. Yeah, exactly. So I, I settled for the 7 7 p.m. as opposed to 7 a.m. practice time. Are you a hockey fan at all, though? Uh, no, not at all. I do. I have a friend. I have some friends who play in the NHL. So, you know, I, if I get a chance to watch them play, I definitely do. Because for those who are watching, if they don't know, 
uh, the high school hockey tournament in Minnesota. It's kind of like the basketball tournament in Indiana. It's huge. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Uh, my, my high school team actually has the record for most attended game in, in the state high school hockey tournament. So it's my senior year. So. <laughs> okay, so today was your first workout. Uh, how many more do you got scheduled? Ooh, probably nine or ten. At least, yeah, so and probably a couple more count and counting. So. so kind of a whirlwind tour of the NBA. Yeah, yeah, it should be fun, though, get to see some new cities. I saw a long-distance view of the Golden Gate Bridge, so that, that was cool. <laughs> so what, what do you know about the Warriors? Um, you know, I know, obviously, Coach Jackson is uh, the head coach, and that, you know, I was pretty excited just to see that. You know, he's, he was one of my favorite commentators over the past couple of years, just listening to him, and, you know, he's obviously one of the greats to play this game. And then obviously is a, a lot of guys from the Midwest on staff here, you know, which, I, which I'm continuing to learn, which is kind of a cool thing. And uh, and obviously, you know, you got you got Jerry West, the logo here. So it's uh, you know, you got a, a lot of a great pedigree here in terms of staff. And then also the players, you know, you got a lot of young guys who can play with Steph Curry and, and Bogut and, and David Lee. So it would definitely be a fun team to be a part of, I'm sure. What's the uh, square root of 93? <laughs> what is that? Uh, <laughs> It's I told be, you three trick, got, trick it's questions gotta be here. Something like what eight or nine, nine point six four three nine, six. Okay, there you go. Right. So the, now you know. See, uh, <laughs> you never know. It uh, could, that could come up somewhere. Uh, you know, if as, as you look at this process right now, you know, uh, every kid, you know, shooting the driveway, shooting the school, you dream about hitting the wing shot, and you know, game seven, NBA finals, whatever. You're this close to that kind of a dream. You know, what, what emotions go through your mind when you think about all these workouts and the, and the pressure to do well and all of that? Um, you know, it's a lot of different ones. You know, nervousness, excitement, anxiety, kind of. But, you know, most, most of all, you know, regardless of what happens, there's only a select, uh, select amount of guys who get to go through this uh, opportunity, who uh, get to have this opportunity regardless of what happens. So it's definitely a blessing, and I'm just trying to take advantage of opportunities and, and enjoy it. All right, Jordan Taylor, thank you for joining us, and best of luck with your workouts. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And I, Tim Roy, for Warriors.com.